hopefully if we can build a house, we can build a deck, right? Let's go ahead and get my three. Perfect. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll cut three feet, three feet, three feet, three the entire way down. I should have no free bar. Yeah. We should, I'm, 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 I'm like 99.9% .9 positive of, of enough free bar. We're doing three on both of these and then two from there? No, I'm cutting them three feet long. I understand, but you have three holes on these, you have I, two on all the others. I see, I got uh, one, two, three, four holes. Oh, I see three. Yeah, one's a little bit high. One's a little bit fair. I realized I messed up my measurement and I stopped half of the hole and I raised it up to match the other one. So it's two holes for each one? It's it's four holes total. Ob. But there's it's two rows of rebar here, two rows of rebar there, and so on and so forth. One I matches mean, that one, it's typical. I, ob, okay. But you messed, you made an error right there. I, I really didn't call it. It's, it's more of an oopsie. Like an oopsie? An oopsie, yeah. Okay. That's oopsie. how I know you're not a real man. You use words like So all of the previously used forms that we used on that side of the house for the fronts mm -hmm. are getting ready to go up and then... There might be some cutting to get, make those fit. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. But they'll all fit maybe with minor modifications, which we I think we knew was probably yeah. going to be the way that yeah, this works. Yeah, definitely. And then <laughs> and once we brace everything, we're done. You know what I mean? Like we're Thank ready God. to pour concrete, the yeah. final pour. This guy is 25 inches. That might be good over there. We could do on something, they're actually a little bit short. We have actually two by fours. Um, we can cut them the same, the length of the two by four as, as the width of the form and stack it and just tap con to the concrete and set the new form on top. Yeah. To give us a, a little bit, maybe do two, we need to get three inches out of it and it'll raise it up okay. versus build a new one. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We go that route. All of the leftover forms that we have to reuse for the fronts are up in place. This one right here, of course, needs to be built from scratch because that's the one that blew out on the opposite side. So he needs to be completely redone, which isn't a big deal. These two that Josh is at fit perfectly. This one right here, we did not have a form for on the opposing side because that's that open space that you see by the uh, Mr. Cool units where the front porch is going to come out on. So. There's gonna be a deck over top of that. We're not gonna close that in um, with concrete. You'll see what happens with that as we get to that point. The next one that's down is going to also have to be built because again, that was on the other side where we had the gas line uh, coming through. So he would have been way too short. He's gotta get built. And then we've got the other one down there that does fit. So three of them need to be built. Correct. The one for the front porch from the other side where there wasn't one, the one where the gas is, and then the yep. one that blew out. Yes, all right, to me. The way it sits is good. We, meaning I, need to anchor to there, get a two by, put it underneath. Good.
We're going to have to cut this one, babe. Blow my spot up like that. <laughs> Josh! 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 I'm making a course of Josh! <laughs> oh. Oh. I know, I don't want to do this either. Can I just take a little nap? No. So all the forms are done. I had to rebuild the front one because the front one on the opposite side actually blew out and we didn't, we didn't reuse it. So we actually broke it down and reused those materials and made the smaller ones. So this guy right there, he was uh, salvaged, it made him work. So we have concrete coming tomorrow. So we're still in kind of a rush. We have kickers to do, we got some more spray foam to do. So it's kind of getting towards uh, crunch time. I don't know if I had the, the... The physical strength to do it, Josh? That's backwards. I was just making sure you were, you had the mental strength to okay. do it. Are you, are, you, are you ready now? Do you want me to hold it for you? You ready now? Huh? You ready now? Why? It's still backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sideways like that. <laughs> <laughs> We got done spray foam and everything. We did the last pour, the, it worked out great. It made sure we had no leaks. We didn't blow up, it wasn't because of the spray foam or lack thereof of spray foam. Right. So we did that, it worked out great. Yeah, so we're doing that again, but we are a little bit tired of being underneath the yes. house. <laughs> Not the nicest area to work at. So I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break and go outside and start laying out the deck and see yeah, what we'll, we can get we'll, done. We'll lay all the footers out for the deck and uh, it's got 25 holes I think we gotta drill, somewhere around there. So yeah. it's gonna be a little bit of laying out, gotta make sure everything's perfect, so. Yeah, it takes a little bit of time to get all that laid Make out. sure it's right. This video is sponsored by Every Plate. I'm starving. <laughs> Let's do this. Every Plate plans, shops, and delivers everything you need to cook a delicious meal at a delightful price. It makes home cooking easy and affordable as a much cheaper alternative to takeout, but just as delicious. Every Plate saves us on those busy weeknights when we are behind on grocery shopping and low on energy, with most recipes coming together in 30 minutes or less. That leaves us with more time to relax together as a family and recharge for the next day. So tonight we are having the farmer's market penne. It smells amazing. It really does. At first I was kind of skeptical thinking that the meal kits might be pricey, but now I'm convinced that you can get the same deliciousness for a much lower price. And it just makes dinner so easy. Try every plate for just $1.99 per meal, plus an additional 20% off your next two boxes by going to everyplate.com and entering code WILDWONDERFULOFFGRID199. That's everyplate.com and enter code WILDWONDERFULOFFGRID199. Let's eat. Talk to me. 
It's on the hips. Go back a hair to our left. Right there, right there. Yeah. Is that good? Once we get everything laid out, we'll go ahead and measure across, measure across, and if it all matches up, it's square, we're good to go. Not okay. a big deal. Yeah. Quick. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and this is so uh, to square thing up. So we measure from this corner to that corner and that corner to that corner is all square. If it's not, we can move this left or right to get things straight and square. So this close. is kind of like deja vu for me from Why? when we from when we set up for uh, the piers. When we first were marking everything out and then yeah. driving stakes and yep. all that kind of stuff. Yep. Hopefully if we can build a house, we can build a deck, right? We'll figure it out. <laughs> right? <laughs> From edge to edge up front is 24 foot 9, so it should be 24 foot 9 here at the back side also where we're standing at. Just because we get 24 foot 9, we move things over, doesn't mean it's square. That, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's why we gotta measure from this point to that point and that point to that point, make sure it all matches and it matches and it's square. Yeah. Are we done? Yeah. Let's eat. Let's eat. I'm starving. Me too. It's almost 8 o'clock. Let's go. So it is the morning of the concrete pour, the final concrete pour. So good vibes, feeling good. Everything's gonna go smooth and great, no blowouts. No. And we're finishing this foundation off once and for all, right? Yeah, we have a better way of doing it this time versus last time, right? Yes, no more makeshift shoots. So the last concrete guy that came, the, the truck driver came, he says their company has a pump. Yes. Typically you have a concrete contractor, not the concrete plant that provides the pump. So I guess a contractor bought the plant mm -hmm. and they now just started renting out the pump about six months ago. Yes. So we have a pump coming. Lucky us. Yes. It's gonna, it's gonna save hours of work. Yeah. Because it's actually dealt with the concrete too versus last time. Yes, it is. Yep, I think it's like it's, it's seven yards versus three and a half. Yeah, we're yards. doing the whole front yard and then that whole north side of the house. So yep. we'll see how fast it goes. <laughs> we gotta go fast because we're not gonna be ready. <laughs> I know. So all the kickers are up. We didn't put any on the back side of the little that we found with all the Tapcons. Um, we're getting close. Uh, concrete's coming. We got plastic next. And uh, what time's anyways? 
We're doing okay on time. We're tight, but I think I think we'll yeah, be all right. We're at 10 o'clock, so we gotta hurry it up. So we weren't in a rush, <laughs> things were good, and now we're in a little bit of a rush. Yeah, that's how it always works. Don't get done in town. All right, come on. Halfway up on these big tall ones, go on the side, hit everything else to the top, and then come back, let it sit up a little bit, and do these again just so we don't have a potential blowout or anything bow again. So go halfway up, let it sit here a little bit, come back and throw the rest of the way up. the rest of the front walls which are the tallest walls they did half of those initially and then headed to the north side of the house poured all of those and now they're heading back to the front to finish it off and then we're done and it's gone so well so far <laughs> Give me that bump right here if you can. I'm still going to go low. That should be good.
you know, considering that I did all the work today, I don't know why you're the one that's all dirty and splattered with concrete. <laughs> I'm sure I can't get a lot of calluses, Aaron. You know? It went smooth, it went fast, it went great. So, I mean, it was so awesome. The, yeah. guy, the guys were so nice. Yep. And uh, not only did the pump truck come, but the pump truck just so happens to come with a pump truck guy. You know what I mean? Yeah, I had things that, well, yes, he operates it, I guess. So. And he did such a great job. He was so nice, he did all of it. He was quick, efficient. Usually, the, when, I, when I've seen the big pump trucks, the guy just operates the pump and somebody else operates the hose, but he, yeah. did, a bu he did both. So, yeah, that's sweet. why I was nervous because I obviously have zero experience with a pump truck. So when they, like I was expecting us to kind of have to figure. It's a big hose, Aaron. I'm sure you used to whip those <laughs> things around. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Looking at our deck, it's actually from here out. It's gonna be 20 feet. We're gonna have a overhang, it's about six to eight feet, we'll see. And once we get past the deck portion, that's 20 feet, we have our stairs coming down, and that's gonna be four foot seven, and then come down to a four foot landing, and then it's gonna be another set of stairs going down. The reason why we did it like that, because as you can see, we come away from the house, we're actually, you can't really tell, but we're actually sloping down. Yes. Um, so the further we get away, the, the higher the deck is going to be. So yeah. we didn't want a set of stairs. So if you take a tumble on the top step, you roll all the way down. So we broke it up with the landing to be safe. The stairs are actually going to be the width of the deck. Yes. So you're not going to have any railing obstructing the view going across the front, which is going to be really nice. But yes, we didn't want that. No, but yeah, I mean, we don't, we don't know. You know, if we're gonna go with wood or like your know, iron or cables, definitely not doing the clear glass panels. Don't want to be cleaning that, dealing with that all the time. No. So I don't know. You guys are gonna have to leave us a comment. Let us know what should we do. What do you guys think would look the best with the house? Because we're unsure. What are you leaning towards? I have no idea. I don't know. I like the, maybe the metal. Maybe. I think that's kind of what I like too. Maybe the metal. I don't like. Yeah. I don't want it to be busy. Yeah, I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I don't want I don't want the class. No, I don't I I don't need to be out here cleaning all of that all the time. So but I'm excited. Let's do it. Be careful. Half of that machine, let's get drilling, baby. Let's, let's paint first, then we'll start drawing. Honey, I know we're caught in the center of turbulent weather for now. The one thing I know is the world is uncertain. It's certainly turning around. Grab tape measure, measure the hole. All right, they're probably like 25, 26 inches. All right. We're going three feet deep and we have 25 to drill. I'm gonna pull his kickers out real quick and drill these. Whatever comes next, I'll be right there beside you. Oh, 
12 more holes left. Yeah. We've done 13, so. We're getting there. All right. Five holes are drilled. Time for sauna tube, concrete, but sleep first. Thank God. <laughs>